Hey, I'm Al McGee with YETicket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Empire of Light. This is directed and written by Sam Mendez. And in this film, well, Empire, it does refer to the movie theater. Now, this is a movie theater in this film that's in Southern England or South of England. And it's in the early 1980s. But also, Empire of Light is about the light that comes out of the projection and and splashes on the screen. You've been there. You know you have. I will admit that this is a very good character work from Olivia Colvin. Now, she plays Hillary. And she's a manager uh, at that movie theater in South of England. And... Well, we get to learn a lot about her as she goes on, but I let me admit this. I don't know what happened, but Sam Mendez, he got Olivia Coleman to smile through the moments that she had to in this film to show that she was happy or or that was a good moment in, in her life in this film. But that smile she has in this film is so infectious. I really enjoyed it. And she shows her very good emotions but this smile she has in this film, oh, it just lit up the whole screen. I really enjoyed that. And that's a good acting tool that she has. And I tell you, it is uh, Olivia Coleman did a very good job with this film. The only thing about this film, eh, the script is kind of, oh, uh, well. But I enjoyed this film. Anyway, like I said, she's a manager here at the Seaside uh, Movie Theater. But uh, we see that, well, she's taking some type of medication. We don't know what for. We find out later on what she's taking medication for. But we also see that she's, uh, well, she's doing some things to her boss. He's a married man. His name's Mr. Ellis, played by Colin Firth. Well, actually, he's really using her for sexual release because we find out later on that his wife is not doing anything for him. Uh, they just living there and things like that. But then they hire this young black man. His name's Stephen, which is played by Michael Ward. And Hillary and Stephen, they develop, well, a close bond. Uh, they get together sometimes, but they talk and things like that. He's very honest with her, and she's very honest with him. But as you can see, she starts to change because she stopped taking her medication. This is a very good, beautiful film that is made. And Mendez did a great job with the cinematography and things like that. But the script is just a little bit off kill. But a little bit more about the plot. Well, Stephen discovered that Hillary does have a mental illness. And then he also finds out a lot about her and she has to be institutionalized. And as she gets out, then she realized that Stephen has problems too. Well, he doesn't have the problem. White people there in London does because in the early 1980s, there are a lot of race riots there against the blacks that live and work there in London. And I know a lot about this because I saw some films and things. Like, in fact, the great director Steve McQueen made a series of films about the racism at that time. And they talk about some of it. And then there's a great big scene about Stephen and, and these white, I guess these white guys, I guess their group and what they did to him, things like that. And I will admit, they could have went a little bit more into that, but uh, Sam Mendez did not. Also, we they did not talk a lot about what happened under Margaret Thatcher's uh, term, and this did happen. It also shows that the Queen and the royal family did nothing about it to squash the racism at that time in the 1980s. But I will admit that this is a very beautiful film. I really enjoyed it. 
like I said, the script uh, could have been a little bit more. And also Empire Light, I, I kind of feel that the title could have been something else that dealt with uh, Stephen and Hillary. But Sam Mendes did what he wanted to do, and he did. I highly recommend you go see this film because it's a very beautiful film to watch. And the story in it is very good also because the story, it talks about what's going on today. Racism, uh, sexual abuse, mental health, things like that. Uh, it talks about all that, what's going on today. And this is the early 1980s. I'm going to give this film three palm trees out of four because I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the actors in this. I really did enjoy these actors in this film. And also the direction of Sam Mendes. Empire Light, highly recommend that you go see this film. Try to see it on the big screen if you can. And thanks for watching my review. I'm Al McGee. I really appreciate it. I really do.